My name is Mathieu Rahman. I work as the head of the laboratory at Oxford University Clinical Research Unit in Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, my responsibility is to run a laboratory operation program across OCRU units in uh, Vietnam, Indonesia, and Nepal. We have been conducting research on tuberculosis, dengue, malaria, uh, brain infection, hepatitis for uh, last decades. We have been using advanced genomics for early, detect, early diagnosis and detection of antimicrobial resistance in mycobacterium. Uh, that has been uh, very successful. We have been monitoring uh, antimicrobial resistance in malarial parasite for last 20 plus years. We also maintain insectarium where we grow mosquito and then we use this mosquito to infect dengue patient to see how long a patient can remain infected to the mosquitoes. We oversee uh, actually three different types of laboratories. So uh, we call it general biosafety level two laboratory, which deals with most of the pathogen we generally work with. Then we have a biosafety level three laboratory, which is mainly for dangerous pathogens. And then we also have a, a specified animal pathogen four, order four laboratory, which is a high risk pathogen for uh, zoonotic infections. So we have several program and our research projects are conducted through many different provincial hospitals. So every hospital we work with, we uh, train the staff in those hospitals. We try to transfer technology. We bring the staffs from there to come to visit our place. And then we also recruit MH MSc and PhD students who work in our laboratory. So, so uh, capacity building is like as a part of our laboratory program that continues all the time. When we do research on tuberculosis, we look for ways in which we can diagnose the disease quickly and more accurately. So, so we took uh, research projects that particularly deals with early diagnosis and then to detect antimicrobial resistance simultaneously so that the patient can be prescribed with the right medicine in time. We have been conducting research on personalized medicine for tuberculosis in which we identify the, the patient's genotype and then treat them based on that particular genotype which gives us much accurate uh, uh, treatment. Our uh, research studies on tuberculosis has changed or helped millions in the world to get right diagnosis and the right treatment in time. Our antimicrobial resistance monitoring program, taking a One Health approach, has helped Vietnam in reducing antibiotic use in uh, livestock, poultry, fisheries, and has contributed significantly in reducing antimicrobial resistance problem in Vietnam. Research to practice to research is one of our key objectives when we conduct research. So if we look at our uh, clinical trials, where the treatment option, treatment duration, and treatment regime is being defined is directly translated into uh, patient management locally, and then those results has later been translated into policy and contribute in, in patient management. So whatever we do here in Vietnam, those are very much translational research, and the intent is to change local policy.